Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical equations. So if I was given this problem to simplify, the square root of 80 p to the third power, okay? Well, let's go uh, do our prime factorization of 80. 80 is just 2 times 40, 40 is 2 times 20, 20 is 2 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. Pretty simple, right? So 80 is just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 5. p to the third power is just p times p times p. Okay? So, I've done a prime factorization of 80 p to the third power, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times p times p times p. Let's circle our pairs. I have a pair of 2's right here, and I have a pair of another 2's right there. And the p's, I have one pair of p's right there. So, every single pair, I'm going to put, uh, to represent the pair outside of our square root, I'm going to put a 2 right here for that, this first one, times this one right here, this 2 times this p. Inside the square root is just the non circled ones, the 5, that's right there, and then the p, 5 times p. So now I have rearranged uh, the square root of 80p to the third power, so we'll find partly to be 2 times 2 times p times the square root of 5 times p. So now let's keep going. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4p times the square root of 5p. And that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 80p to the third power. Doing my prime factorization, I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times p times p times p. I circled my pairs. I have two pairs of 2 and one pair of p. So when I circle my pairs, uh, I put them on the outside to represent each one. So a pair of 2s right there, another pair of 2s right there, and a pair of p's. And what's left inside the square root, it's just what are all the singles, 5 times p. I then simplified that to get my final answer here of 4p times the square root of 5p. 